My name is uh, Håkan Saxen. I'm working for a company called UPM Rafata. We are a producer of, of uh, label stock, self adhesive laminate. I have been in the, working for that company for about 25 years. And uh, in Finat, I have been a member of the technical committee for something like 10 years, a bit over 10 years, and, and currently I'm the chairman of that committee and also board member since, since uh, less than a year. You mentioned this, uh, uh, let's say, surprising success in, in, in this uh, beverage labeling for beer bottles, and, and that's true, but of course we have to remember that still the penetration there is still very, very limited. So it means that, that there is more, much more than 95, 90 something percent of the uh, bottles, uh, beverage bottles that are not mm -hmm. currently equipped with self adhesive labels. So, I mean, there is a huge huge, huge potential there still. It's a question of, of, of course, the, the cost of the, the substrates and the materials, and, and for self-adhesive labor you need a little bit more more material that, than you need for, for, for a... For thinner layers, you would say. Thinner ones, and, and yes, mainly that. There are many things, of course, but, but the, 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 the main reason why, why very thin labels is, is difficult is, is the fact that how to apply the label because the applicators for self adhesive labels, they are based on a certain rigidity and stiffness of, of the label in order to make, it, to make it work in a good way. And if you go much down in the thickness, of course, you lose, you lose some of that. One area, of course, in this uh, smart label is, is certainly the, the question about uh, can you bring something to a, a food packaging which could uh, somehow, you know, indicate something about the, the, the content, the, the, the status of, of the content of the package or, or something else, a bit more than, you know, based before date, used before date, and, and uh, something more than that. And this is not totally new, there are something, things like that already existing, but in an extremely small, small scale, and, and the question is that could there, I'm pretty sure that there, there must be some, some interesting opportunities. Probably FINA could, could play a little bit a more active role in, in somehow bringing these, these uh, people together and, and, and making them talk the, the, the same language because it's, uh, we see it I think now quite often one of the challenges is, is not, of course it's difficult to create something new but, but it, it's even more difficult to, to implement it and, and to get others to, to realize that this is really something that, that is a benefit also for them and not just for the, the company who is selling it or introducing it.